Hi guys, Todd here with TW Home Show. Today I want to review a cloud storage camera uh, with you. This is from Z Clever. Z Clever made this unique camera. It can be indoor or outdoor. I like it. I have a Rio Link outdoor camera similar to the style of this, but the Rio Link is like this big. It's huge. I like this size. It's compact. It doesn't stick out on your house. Um, even indoors, you could tuck that up in a corner uh, near your ceiling and it won't be quite noticeable. But I like this. You can insert your own memory card. I've got a 32 gigabyte memory card and then it will loop and loop all your recordings. You have plenty of space. If you want to access all your files uh, more easily, they do have cloud storage as well. Um, it does notifications for you. You can push the notifications to your phone or to your email and it can send you notifications so you know what's going on around your house while you're at work. So guys, let's take a closer look at this. A couple things I do like about this. I'll mention them in the video, but first we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna run you through the setup process. We can see how easy that is to do. Stay tuned. Guys, in today's review video of this IP security camera, wireless, I've got one to give away. This is my first giveaway on my channel at TWHomeShow.com. And I'm going to show you how to enter the process to get a raffle to possibly win one of these unique cameras. Uh, first, stay tuned, watch the video. I'll give you the instructions on how to enter uh, as soon as we get near the end. So stay tuned, guys. See if you like the camera. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and set this camera up. Make sure you got the YCC365 Plus app installed on your Android or uh, Apple phone from the App Store, and we'll get started. First, you'll want to sign in and create an account. I've already done that, so we're going to go back to Devices and hit the plus sign. I just reset the camera, so we're going to pick Intelligent Camera right here. Code. We're going to do the scan code. That was the camera just talking. So we're going to pick that option and we're going to go next. And then here I got to uh, type in my password. This is the password to my Wi Fi in the house 2.4 gigahertz network only. It doesn't work on 5G. You'll get this barcode. Just tap it one time, see, and it enlarges and hold that in front of your camera eye, your camera sensor there. And just kind of move it back and forth till it picks it up. We got it, guys. Please wait for Wi Fi connecting. Press the next button and you'll. Please wait for internet connecting. It'll tell you all the way through what to do. Very cool. And it connects pretty fast. Internet connected. Welcome to use cloud camera. We are done. Now we're going to do device name. So I'm going to put this as a Z Clever cam. Start to experience. Okay. And where is it at? It's in the office. Okay. Once you get to the screen here, this is your main screen. If you had several of these Z Clever cameras, they will show here in this screen. We're going to pick this only camera we have hooked up right now. Select that and it will open up your screen. And there's your live shot right there, guys. So we're gonna, uh, here's your directional pad right here. We're gonna go ahead and pull that up a bit. Uh, now notice on the directional pad, okay, I thought it just moved in increments, but here we go. You can just, it's kind of like a toggle joystick just drag it around and you can see it moving there just pull it up there we go there's my 3d printers right there all right guys right now it's in SD quality see that stated down at the bottom there's cloud event if you have or sign up for the cloud storage I believe it's $6.99 a month you could do that we're going to change that to HD quality now see 
And then if we want to talk out it, we can press the microphone button there. Oh, I see you got to hold that. Testing, testing. It works, guys. Here's uh, the sound. If you want to listen to the sound, it'll bro uh, broadcast it to your phone from the camera. Turn that off for now. And you got more. Select more there. And we got to a record button. I just hit record. Now we're recording this event. Wait a minute, why isn't it picking me up? There it is. Now the Wi-Fi does have a little bit of lag as you can see there. That was some lag. So you think you're seeing it live, but it might be a few seconds old. So we're gonna stop. And then you can enter the album or it will save it to the album for you. And here's the lights. It's set to auto right now. Let's go ahead and turn them on. And these are powerful lights, guys. This is the first camera I got that actually has like built-in flashlights around the lens. It's got four of them, and I believe it's four IR sensors for night. I'll go ahead and turn those off. Okay. Now next, now I'm blinded by the light. Uh, you can take a picture here if you press that camera icon. It just shot the picture. And then right next to that, you got full screen mode. Just press those arrows there. Now you've got full screen. Huge, nice picture, guys. Now let's go back out of full screen. Right here is where you can see your recordings. Right next to the uh, camera icon where you take pictures, press that and it changes from live view into your recordings. Now we don't have any recordings at the moment. So, okay, first you have to enable cloud service. We're not gonna do cloud service. We're gonna hit that button, live button. Hit that again. Um, I believe we have to set up our SD card first. Device storage, hit that. SD card status available. Device play videos from cloud, we're gonna hit that. We're gonna do play videos from memory card. That's what we need checked, okay? Now we're gonna go back. Now go, see we're in live view, press that button there, with the circle around it. And this is your history timeline. So if you drag this, you can go where, where all those blue lines are, those are recordings. So you set it to motion detection in your menu and then during the day, you'll get these recordings. Now, it's kind of tiny on your mobile device, right? So if you take your two fingers and stretch them like this, you can make them bigger. And then just drag the timeline and it'll start uh, showing you what it's recorded. We don't have much here. Right now, just showing uh, the setup process. But I like the... Uh, the fact that you can access this not only from the app, but you have a way to log into your desktop. And you log into your desktop through a browser, and it's, uh, I think it's ucloudcam.com. I'll put the uh, name on the screen here, the website link. And you log in with your username and password on the website desktop uh, app. And then you can access it like if you're sitting at your office at work and you're on your desktop, you can access your camera uh, on your desktop. Uh, very few cameras like this come with both the app for mobile devices and a desktop app. So I really like that feature. I really like that it has the built-in flashlight LEDs so that you can keep your color on at night when you turn those uh, flashlight LEDs on, it retains color uh, capture. If you have it on IR mode, then it's gonna retain black and white capture. So guys, let's move along and see what else we got here. Okay guys, here's a recording I had at 9.30 a.m. today. My doggy was out there. So let me scroll back. And the camera somehow got pointed down, I guess it, from the motion tracking. That's the other feature that I really like on this, the motion tracking feature where once it picks up an image, a person or body, it follows it. I noticed in this situation, it didn't follow uh, Carly 
when she moved away. I'm not sure if that's because it doesn't move up and down or maybe uh, it didn't have a good capture uh, to follow. Let's go by see if we see any other ones. And try from yesterday maybe. What's that? Okay, here's a capture. This is uh, 4 a.m. or almost 5 a.m. Look, it turned the uh, LED flashlights on right there. It looks like a gnat or something flew in front of the camera sensor and it actually is in color and that's at dark at almost 5 a.m. So when it picks up motion, it turns those flashlights on if you have it on auto. So let's go back. Let's see, yesterday I was testing it as well. Uh, see if we got anything from yesterday. Okay, around 7 o'clock, 7.30 last night. There's the uh, pool area. My LED strip light is on. And it's glowing on the pool. So I don't know what it picked up there. Now those inner tubes float around the pole, so that may be setting it off as well. Here's another spot recording. So not much. Let's see, that's a whole batch right there recording. So not much happening here. I'm gonna go ahead and test this out. I'm gonna do uh, some night stuff. Uh, I've got some footage that I took last night and that does have a motion capture of me so we'll get to that but first let's go ahead uh, if you wanted to record something instantly say you're out and you see somebody walking past let's go back to live view yes yeah, so just say you see somebody walking past hit that more button and then there's the video camera recorder just press that and it'll start recording there Okay, and I just saved it. All right, now go to the gear button up here in the corner, right top corner, press that. Here's some more features you have. These are the settings. Uh, detection sensitivity, if you go into that, we've got it set to medium now. You can set that down to low or high. I'm gonna set it down to low because I did get a lot of false readings overnight. Detection area, you can also determine what part of the camera you want uh, the motion to be picked up on. So you can set that up. You go back, push notification settings, press that, and then here's where you could set up to receive notifications. Receive a summary, receive all notifications. Okay, go back, specific notification time, you can add a schedule for that. So we'll go back, device storage, if you want the My Cloud service, you can sign up for that here. Uh, the SD card status is available. I got a 32 gigabyte SD card in and there is some use you can see right there. And memory card recording mode for event recordings. Now you can just set it to record constantly if you want or not record at all. And play videos from, we saw that just a little bit ago. We wanted to play it from memory card. If you had the cloud service, you could pick cloud service. And here's your Wi-Fi setup right there. So that's your setting, guys. Uh, it's a nice little camera. I'm pretty happy with it. I think most of you guys would be too. I like that there's not only an app for it on your mobile device, but I can use it on my desktop at work. That's how I like to view most of my cameras when I'm at work. All right, so this is the Z Clever cam. Uh, shooting at night, almost night, it's like dusk. It's about 10 minutes till 6 and daylight saving time and here you see I have it in HD right here we can switch it from HD to SD standard definition to high definition right with the click of this button down here standard definition uh, I see some pixelation and blurriness I would recommend uh, doing it in high definition unless you're trying to see this from uh, off your network maybe you're at at uh, work or something and you're trying to log into home and you get a faster connection uh, with SD probably sending uh, smaller files to you live streaming otherwise I would recommend the HD quality because uh, then you're gonna actually see the details that you need to see so 
I like this desktop app, uh, like I've said before. It has pretty much everything uh, that the app does on your phone or your tablet, except for a couple settings uh, adjustments, like the motion tracking. I love that on this camera, where it tracks and records motion. The camera will follow the, uh, the motion on the screen. So if something w walks past it, I'm gonna go ahead and try that right now. Let's see how it works. So guys, I think it worked, didn't it? You guys were here, you saw it. Uh, I'm gonna see if we have a playback on that now. So I'm gonna go back up here to events, right up in this uh, top left corner, click on events, but it didn't record, why? Hmm, I did format the SD card when I put it in there, so it should work. So we'll have to see why. Maybe it takes some time to get the events in there. So I'm going to go back to the Z Clever Cam right here. That's what I named it. And notice it's getting darker now. You do have this uh, right here on screen, this uh, optical zoom, I believe it is, four times. You press one time and get up close. So I've got some tomato plants and pepper plants over here. But I notice when there's uh, less light, you do get more pixelation, even though it is on HD quality and if you click on this button right here the directional pad then you can move the camera so you have to click it a few times to run it across your screen pan it like that let's go back come off of this zoom go back over here I notice when I do up and down on the zoom it doesn't respond right away it's still kind of stuck in a zoom right here and I don't know why it does that. If I go back to Z Clever Cam and choose it again, that didn't click it off yet. It just it gets stuck there. It's almost like you have to log out and log back in. Right here, this button will expand to full screen mode. Look how cool is that, guys? Full screen mode, great view with my lighting out there in the evening time, dusk time. All right, guys, now for the important stuff. You can win one of these by a prize raffle. Just go to my website at twhomeshow.com. Guys, twhomeshow.com. It's right there. The entry is on the front page. Click on that. It'll give you all the instructions. Right now, I'm only uh, shipping this out to USA residents. I'm sorry about that. Only USA residents at this time. But when my channel gets bigger, help me grow, help me share. We'll send it out all over the world, all my raffles and prizes. So guys, I'm excited for you. I'm excited for this giveaway. Let's make it a big one. Guys, thank you for tuning in today, and I'll see you on the next video.